All right. Let's get this going. Oh. There, there we go. Put that down. Move over here. Okay. So far, oh. It just started spinning rapidly. Quality is dropping. Hello everybody, this is a test stream, as you can tell. Seems like it's just getting synced up with everything. Uh, give me a moment. Gotta do some tests, you know, right? Oh, wait, actually, that was that. Okay, let's try now. There we go. Okay. So how's everyone doing today? As we are slowly getting this to work. Once again, it's kind of primarily just to be testing some stuff and trying to get this all taken care of, seeing how well we can get this streaming going. Uh, We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Doing good as a mouse? That's good. That's good. Nate? Welcome, welcome. I mean, the audio sounds fantastic. It's just so far. This wants to be a little bit laggy. It might also be having trouble sinking. Hmm. I may end up having to let me let me reload the software. Connect. There you go. Let's try that now. Now you might be wondering why you can't see the bottom screen right now, and that's just because I am just, once again, doing some tests, seeing how it goes. But, but I mean, this is mostly just going to be me talking and just testing out the DS. And eating pizza. Looks like it's staying relatively well. Okay, let's give it a shot. There you go. Now you guys can see the bottom screen. Please set some settings, touch calibration. Okay. Tapped into the academy. I've never played Pokemon Art Academy, so I mean. Darmaka! Hello, Darmaka. It seems like things are doing good, no extra data. As you guys can see, so here's something else cool I could do. Assuming that this is still running. Okay, yeah. I don't know why, Streamlabs chatbot is just being weird. Okay, but we could, why your 3DS dates say it's in August? Because I haven't changed it. I have n I've just not changed it. So, it's also a 2DS XL, but enough. But check this out. Well, bam! We can switch. Now I'm on this side. And now I'm on this side. And now I'm on this side. Now I'm on this side. So. Cool. Quick switch. Hi, Drew. My name is not Drew. Oh! So, for some images, professional ID. Take a Pokemon to try it out. Ah, uh, will do! Give me one second. I know who you're thinking I am. Clear user data. Clear data. Clear data. Alright. I was like, I, I was like, wait a second. I'm not. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Welcome to Pokemon Art Academy. Before we get started, are you a boy or a girl?
Are you sure I'm a boy? Are you left-handed or right-handed? I am right-handed. No. No, your journey can begin! It's Piplup, Froki, and a Pikachu. Nice. Hey, you must be here for the Pokemon Art Academy, too! What's your name? Kit. Dothy. Wow, looks like this is running really, really well. Once again, if you guys are watching, just let me know like how everything looks. If it, things look janky, if it looks bad, good. Camera zoomed out as well because I'm gonna be like drawing stuff and looking down. So, hey, Katathi, nice to meet you. My name is Lily. I'm going to study hard here and become a Pokemon, a master Pokemon artist. My ambition is to be a famous illustrator of Pokemon cards. Come on, Katathi, let's go to the office to pick up our ID cards. We can get them from Professor Andy. He's my favorite Pokemon card illustrator. Hello! You must be the new students, Katathi and Lily, right? My name is Professor Andy. I run the Pokemon Art Academy. You may have heard my brother Vince, who runs a different sort of academy. We both dedicate our time to teaching what we love. For me, it's that's drawing Pokemon. Now here are your ID cards. Please don't lose them. These ID cards are really important. They used to track our progress through the academy. Correct. That's why you should sign your cards right away. Shoot! I've never had to sign my name as Katathi! Uh, I got this. I got this. That's my signature. Don't wear it out. That's so cool, I can't wait to get started. Not so fast, young lady. Your application isn't finished yet. There is a starter exercise to complete before you are accepted into the academy. Are you ready? Choose a Pokemon to draw and we will begin. All right, what are we choosing? Froakie, Pikachu, or Piplup? It's Froakie, right? Or Croakie? Croakie, Croakie. Look at Pikachu. I'm thinking Pikachu. I'm gonna pick Pikachu. Draw a simple. Froakie? Alright, Froakie it is. Draw a simple portrait of Froakie. A quick taste of the Pokemon Art Academy lessons. Set the exercise. Cool. I don't know how to draw, by the way. That's also why I picked this game. Froakie. Welcome to Pokemon Art Academy starter exercise. You've chosen to draw Froakie, a water type Pokemon that's light, quick, and strong. Just follow my instructions and you'll make it through your exercise easily. Let's kick off by filling in the shape of Froakie's head with the blue pastel I gave you. I'm not doing that! If you make a mistake, just press L to undo it and try again. When you finish, touch the arrow to go to the next step. Alright. So... We'll draw. We'll draw very well. Let's fill this in. Make it look nice. All right, we're good. Next step. Hopefully that's been looking good. Now we're adding two big ovals for the eyes. Okay. So, you can also redo a mark by pressing R. Also, if you don't reuse your tools, you can do so freely by tapping the back arrow. Oops. Hold on. That, that looked bad. Hey, what up, Rainbow? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? So, yeah. Also, oh, that looks weird. Hold on. I'm going to draw in this one. Nope. That works. I'll just draw that in real quick. There we go. We're looking good. We're looking good. Now let's use yellow and draw the inner part of the Froakie's eyes. Okay. Got you. Got you. Nope. 
That was perfect! Oh my gosh, that was the most perfect circle I've ever circled. That sucked. Nope. Guys, I'm an artist! I'm an artist! So how is everything looking? I'm like, I can kind of see like on the stream like I have a peripheral vision. So how is everything looking? Like if I do... If I draw like... Wow, that's actually... That's actually pretty good, all things considered. Wow, I'm impressed. This is actually working out really well. Pretty good. Now let's use black pastel and give me to draw Froki's pupils and mouth. All right, guys, I gotta draw lines. So far, so good. All right, that his his left right eye. Okay, hold on, hold on, I got this. There we go. We're doing good. We're doing good. Now I've given you black, draw blue, dark blue pastel to draw the stripe between the eyes. Okay. Ah, uh, hold on. I did that wrong. There, did it. Looks good. As a final touch, we'll add the two white bubbles on Froki's nose. Something tells me that's not what I wanted. Nope. All right, guys. Oh, wait, wait, I missed the mark. Finish the session. How do we do, what do we do? As simple as that, you finish the portrait to Froki. Hey, Katathi, how'd it go? Oh, your Froki looks great. I think it's slightly disformed. I think a stripe's not touching the top of his uh, portrait. And also one of his eyes is vastly bigger than the other. He also has a little bit of a lurf in the middle of his mouth. Okay. Here's mine! I wonder why Froki always seems to have its eyes nearly shut! Um. Uh. Lily! I think you need to reconsider your life choices. Hmm, it's a good start, Lily, but practice makes perfect. If you ever want another turn of drawing, but you can always play the lesson. Hey, what's he's implying? My drawing is just fine. Sure it is. You can always go to free pace mode and try it on your own with any tools you'd like. But for now, it's time to save your drawing and try out on a Pokemon card. Lesson complete! Sweet. Now let's see how well your drawing looks at a Pokemon card. Froki! Zoom out. Zoom in. Zoom out. Oh, this is the Pokemon trading cards! That's really cool. Katathi. Nice. Don't save, please session, but don't save your image. I'm gonna just finish and don't save. I'll save and finish. Fine. I know you guys want. Well, I mean, it's on the internet for all to see for all eternity, so. Congratulations, both of you. You've been accepted to the Pokemon Art Academy. Excuse me. I was eating a pizza. Hey, you think I got the pastel colors from? I'll upgrade your ID cards now to show your accomplishments. Cool. Nice, I'm a novice! Doing good! This is your novice ID card. Novice course is now unlocked. There are three courses of lessons. Novice, apprentice, and graduate. At the, at the end of each course, it's a final exercise that use all the skills you've learned. Also, each time you complete a lesson, you will unlock new content. Any Pokemon you have drawn will become available in free paints. That means you can draw them whenever you want with all the tools available. Completed lessons also may unlock new lessons or bonus content. Good luck, I look forward to seeing you in my first class. Oh, it's a wash of what? You unlock new content. Look on the blue icon. Okay. Cool. It's Oshawott and Fennekin and Togepi and Inkay. Go to lessons. Oh, okay. Oshawott. 
Draw a full face portrait of Oshwatch. Learn how to use outline pen, marker, and erasers. Okay. Like I said, this is primarily just gonna be like just just a test stream. So if there's anything that looks weird to you guys, let me know. I'm trying to make this as good as possible. Unfortunately, this is not like a direct capture card, so I should explain as well, real quick. When I purchase like the 2DS XL uh, with the capture software, it's more than least software and some modded portions, like the audio you guys are hearing. Typically, it's not that easy to get this to work like on a regular computer. From what I was told, and what I was verified by a few others, not just like the person who gave me the 2DS XL, but there has to be a mod mod software and hardware put in to make it to where you can actually listen to it and have it portrayed on like the computer which I don't think is really the case now that I'm thinking about it if it, it would if it was microphone based because like using this mic and just like blowing into it also that's not where the mic is coming from I have a desk mic anyway uh, secondly though I have to like there was like a RAM issue and everything too and it seems like this 2DS also has a little bit more RAM I was told and I guess verified once again people have been verifying so I was like okay I'll just roll with it as some RAM that makes it uh, a lot easier to work with and that's why like the FPS is pretty much as good as it is uh, the only downside right now that like I can see is yeah there's some frame drops there are some like the FPS probably is not as smooth as it normally is on a 3ds hey what up blue welcome to stream yes it is Pokemon um the only reason like with the FPS right as it is right now I'm not able to do it like full 60 FPS because I am so like the router in my house is on the opposite end of the house and we found out that if I'm standing right next to the router then I'll get like that 45 uh, 6 to 45 to 60 FPS right now it looks like we're just capping out at 43 FPS which not terrible uh, pretty good but once again we're just testing so if you guys have any like feedback if you guys have any like just anything you're seeing that looks strange let me know I'm gonna try to look into it but this is also purely software and like wireless based compared to the actual capture card because the company went out of business and actually if you're trying to get capture cards for like Katsukiri which is the company that went out of business they at least US dollars wise they're around 500 to 600 dollars and that's also oops, that's also not like just with the 2ds that's like just getting the capture like device installed it's really that much. If you're looking to get like the, the 2DS or 3DS on top of it, that's actually like 150 to 200 dollars depending on what you're looking for. So that's why I kind of like went with the software based approach. Just to see how it works, just so we can stream some. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing like too many like intense games there, so like I'm thinking that if this works out well, and once again, I appreciate you guys' feedback, please let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'll do like Pokemon, I'll do like Fire Emblem, Mario likes the Mario Partners Time series, or Mario and Luigi series, until I can get to the point where if somebody happens to have just a 2DS there with the capture card itself installed to like upgrade it. Other than that, this is probably the best we'll be able to do, but I'll do my best to get this taken care of. So let's do it. Here's a picture of Oshawott from my sketchbook. My sketchbook is where I store all my ideas for illustrations of Pokemon characters. Any interesting fact about a Pokemon can be basis for an illustration. For example, Oshawott is a water type Pokemon that keeps a Scalchop on its belly. Cool. A Scalchop is a hard, shell shaped object that is used as a weapon in battle. It's not just for battle, though, it can also be used for breaking open hard berries. Oh, look how cute he is! That's a nice blue. Clown Otter, I got you. Now, to start off the lesson, I'll introduce an important drawing tool the outline pen. We'll use the outline pen to draw black outlines around Oshwat's face and features. The outline pen is highlighted in the toolbox, tap it and select it. Okay. Good, the toolbox contains everything you need to draw or paint in the lessons. To open the toolbox on your turn, just tap the tool tab on the lower screen. Now we'll use the outline pen to draw the first oval shape. Draw in short sections, try turning your Nintendo 3DS to get the best angle. Ah, uh, this is 2DS, by the way. Wait, I thought I saw you mark your marks changing shape after you drew them. That's right, the outline pen will smooth out your lines as you draw. It's much easier to get a nice curve that way. Remember also that you can press L to undo marks. Let's see how you do. Alright. I mean, that's true.
Like, this is, this is so weird. It just sucks because I have, like, shaky hands. But I got this. Hold on. Okay, I got one. Hold on. I mean, I think he just wanted me to do the face. Hold on. I think he just wanted me to do the face. What's my favorite gen? Gen... Four. Five. Five. X, we can add the ears on each side. Okay. okay. Look at that ear! Was not that good. Nope. Nope. I'll have to do. That ear was perfect! Perfect. Doing good. We doing all right. Next, we'll outline Oshwat's nose. You'll need a zoom tool for this. Do I? You can zoom in up to three levels by tapping zoom. Copy what he does, not everything. I gotcha. You can also zoom in and out by pressing that up and down. While zoomed in, you can move around using the canvas using the zoom pad. Let's draw the nose now. Okay. All right. All right, see the nose. Well, I could have gone better. Come on! Oh my gosh! This is so hard! Hold on. Switch sides. That way you guys can see what I'm doing. That's the other thing I'm gonna have to get used to, is like, going back and forth. Oh my gosh. That's fine, he has a busted nose. That's okay. For the mouth, it's easiest if you draw it in two lines, like this. Yeah, that makes sense. When you're that's done, you can add the teeth and tongue. Just don't draw Arthur's teeth too long or it can look a little scary. I got this! I got this! Hey, what up, Logan? I'm well, playing with no earbuds, so I can't hear you. It's all good. Hi. Be a long stream? Not really. We'll be fine. All right, how long am I making his teeth? How long am I making his teeth? Actually, you know what? I could also... Let's, let's give this a shot. Uh, I need to... Vampire Oshawott? Sounds good to me. Alright, looks look, look, look good, looking good. Let's draw the tongue. Oh! Beautiful! Beautiful! Alright, time for the teeth. <clears throat> I 
But you know what? Hold on. How's that look? Look at that. That's beautiful. Hold on. I need to fix that right tooth. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There, we got this. He's a walrus, it's perfect. One of those teeth is way, hold on. What if I just do? Wait, I got an idea, hold on. No. Oh my gosh. I have to, I was gonna, oh, hold on, hold on, I got this, I got this. Next, I'll draw the dots on Oshawa's cheeks. I did it, guys! I did it! Look at this! Look at this creation! He's fantastic! Alright, hold on. Dot, dot, dot. Oh my gosh, these are the most perfect dots I've ever dotted. Fantastic! It's time to start coloring in! For this, we'll need another tool. It's the marker! Select the white marker by tapping the highlight icon and then color red. Then the highlight icon. Okay, so white. With the marker, you could actually color in under the outline pen. Just because the outline pen works on a different layer with the other tools. This is because the outline pen works on a different layer from the other tools. The outline layer sits on top of everything else in your drawing. The white part of the icon in the upper screen shows you which layer you're working on. Watch me color the face, you'll see how layers work. Okay, I got you. Oh no, I made a Hey everybody, I gotta go. Hi, hi, how you going? <laughs> That's how it looks to me. Oh, don't worry, I was already planning to show you another new tool. Is that a trick? Hey everybody, Eraser! The eraser in the blue section is for erasing the outline pen. The eraser in the red section is for all other tools. You can use the red eraser to clean up the marker without damaging the outline. Here, I'll demonstrate it on your drawing, Lily. Yay! All right, let's, let's uh, hold on. Toolbox, we got white, white. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. We're gonna back out, we should get this game, maybe. Coloring it in. Listen, when I was in kindergarten, <gasps> I made a mistake. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, we're good. We're good. We got this. We got this. We got this. I used to be fantastic at coloring in kindergarten. I was the best colorer in my class. It's all good. Now we just color in everything. Hold on, we're gonna go switch to the screen there so that way you guys can see. Hello, look at all this. 
We are coloring in everything in his face! Pretty good. Just gonna find a way to mess it up even more. Oshwat's gonna be red. Oshwat's gonna be red. Calling it right now. Next step. Nose. Coloring the nose using brown and a smaller marker size. There are four marker sizes to choose from. We're gonna use the second largest. We we're still on. I got this, I got this, I got this. Hold on! There's some brown seeping out. Hold on, there's some brown seeping out. I need to <gasps> Alright, never mind, never mind, we don't need to worry about that. We don't need to worry about that brown. Okay, we're just gonna be out. Yeah, we're good. This screen is more blurry than the bottom screen. Yeah, no, so that's that's the unfortunate thing, is that this screen has more priority. This top screen has more priority than the bottom. I can't do anything about, like, evening them out. So yeah, that's the only downside. If we do go over the teeth, you can either recolor them white or press the undo button. Got this. To be fair though, like not much of the- oh my gosh. Hold on. Not much of the, uh, not much- not many DS games use the bottom screen that much. Like as a main screen, so. Oh, no, no, I, I, blue, this goes to everybody. I appreciate all feedback here. If it's blurry, I will try to make sure it's trying to not blurry. Like, I, this is the best I, I've been able to do, like, as I've been working on this for the past four or five days. So if it's, it's still blurry and it's very noticeable and it's, like, annoying, let me know. You're not being annoying at all. I appreciate all the feedback. So... Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't, no need to apologize. You can be like, this looks like terrible and things. I'm like, no, we still good. Now we can color it the tongue pink. Or now we can color it the tongue pink. Cool. Sounds good. Perfect. Now we got Oshawott's eyes left. Next, let's use the blue color to color the ears. Perfect. All right, Mr. Man, I got you. <sighs> All right, I got this, I got this, I got this. Look at that smooth ear. Perfect. Color this. I think we're good. All right, we're good. We're good. Now I'll use the black color to color in the eyes. Okay. Why did you speed that up? I didn't do anything. Here, hold on, hold on. I got this. Help me. Stare into the void that is Oshawott's eyes. Stare into the void that's Oshawott's eyes. Oh, I missed the spot. Stare into the void that's Oshawott's eyes. Actually, this is actually showing me something. Man, I wish I could make this go 60 FPS. I really, really wanted to. Oh, 
Two white highlights. Two white highlights. Those aren't irises. The he has no iris. That's like if you're so literally what he just he's saying right now, just just to put it in perspective, he's saying like the white part of his eye, that's an iris. That's not like the color part of your guys' eye. That's literally just the reflection off of the sun. His eyeballs are actually just hollow black holes of Don't worry, buddy. I got you. I got you. <sighs> no, no, I'm not doing that. I'll do white. It makes it look better. So just keep his eyes like that? Like this? I'm fine with it. Yeah. You know what? That's it. Awesome. We dropped Oshawott's head. Here's my drawing. The shapes are pretty easy, but there's sure a lot of colors to fill in. Hey, my name's Bozo the Clown! <laughs> okay, though, to be fair, she did color in the face really well. She, she did color in, like, the tongue and the mouth really well. I hope you had fun. You have learned so many lessons on the of Giant Skills. The main lessons are optional, though. You can go straight onto the main lesson if you like. Just remember the practice is key in becoming a master artist. See you soon. Thank you, man. Ooh. Let's see how Vampire Oshawott looks. Yeah, Vampire Oshawott. I'm keeping this one. I'm saving this one. This is my favorite. All right, let's draw some more. Man, so far this is going uh, pretty well. You have one before. Why don't I take a break? I've played it for two times. We got new content. Look at that icon. Cool. Fennekin, Tepig, Chespin, and uh, Squirtle. Okay, cool. Go to listens. Draw a full face portrait of Squirtle. Reinforce the skills you learned in the Oshawa lesson. Sure. I got this. I got this. We are gonna make some fantastic looking Pokemon. Check this out. Squirtle. Welcome. In this mini lesson, we're gonna draw a portrait of Squirtle. What's a mini lesson I hear you ask? A mini lesson is a shorter lesson to practice the techniques you learned in the main lesson. There are no demonstrations and you will need to select your own tools. So don't worry, you can still use my image as a guide at each step. Let's get started and see how we do, shall we? Like Oshawott, Squirtle is a well-known water type Pokemon. When attacking, when attacked, it shelters itself in its shell and then strikes back to the powerful jet of water. As with Osh, watch, we'll stick, use a thick outline pen and trace the Squirtle's head. Wait, what's a little dip in the middle of Squirtle's mouth? Just because the tip of, the of its mouth is pointed, it's easier to see from an angle like this. Now let's go ahead and trace all the outlines. Remember to zoom in as needed, pressing that and that. Yeah, I got you, I got you, boss. I got you. Alright, we got that. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, what's our size? Nah, I need it to be bigger. Oh, I got this. All right, so let's get let's get to coloring. Let's get the coloring. I need to like sit up straight while I do this. Hold on. Wish there was an easier way to do this. However, I am ruining these pictures somehow. I will do that for you guys. All right, all right. So far, looks good. Looks good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
Hold on. Let's just, let's zoom into the eyebrows. Good. Okay. Okay. Zoom out a little bit. I am gonna shrink that down. Is this how artists actually feel? I I don't really care, Blue. To be fair, just just in all honesty. Oops. Pokemon's Pokemon. It's fun all in all. There we go. Something to be back. No worries, Nate. No worries. Okay, we got that. Okay. I got this mouth. Hold on, hold on. All right, all right. Here's the thing. Lurking. What up, Pirana? How's it going? That's part one of this masterpiece. All right, did I miss anything? No. I just need him to have that big of a dip. There we go. Next step. Next step, please. With the outline done, it's time to start coloring it. Let's fill the whole one using blue green and then add pink to the tongue. I got you, dude. I got you, hold on. Blue, green and pink, okay. I like these pastel colors he's giving me too. Very, very nice. It's a, this is a lovely blue green. Absolutely lovely. Fantastic. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, got it. Good, everything's looking good. Yeah, probably. However, check this out. Ready? Ah! All right, we're good. Squirtle currently has no tongue. I've arrived! What up, Zachary? Welcome to the stream! Squirtle currently has no tongue. Actually, hold on, hold on. I need to outline this. Hold on, I need to outline this first. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, got this. And put podcast and stuff? That's no worries, no worries, Zach. Oops, hold on, hold on, that was too much. Okay, okay. 
Next, I will need to erase. This. Okay. There we go. Where? What am I at? <laughs> no idea. Finally, let's color in the details. For the eyes, let's start with red and then adding black and finally white. Don't forget to color the corners of the mouth using brown as well. You're right. You're very right, Blue. Hold on. I got this. Ooh. Hold on. Let me let me first do. I'm gonna do red. Color that in. So I gave him a giant mouth. Gave him some teeth. Gave him a mustache. I like his mustache very well. Like, trying to see, like, is that why I think a smile? Maybe. It was going to be a beard, but then I decided it's a smile. I just, I couldn't zoom out any farther. Okay. Next, we'll need black. Okay. Some white in there. All right, Squirtle's officially coked out. But now we need to draw the best thing ever, which are I've done it! Hey, what a fucky! I've done it! He's got a hat! Hold on, the hat needs to be a bit bigger. Hold on. Okay. I've done it! You're so confused? What? It's gangster. It's gangster Squirtle. It's gangster Squirtle. Done. Fantastic. I'm in love with this. The eyes are the hardest part, but it's easy if you take it one step at a time. Yeah, I've had a bit of trouble with the eyes. Listen, mine's infinitely better. <laughs> this mine's infinitely better. <laughs> I'm fine, not fine. <laughs> oh, I forgot to outline the hat. I forgot to outline the hat. I'm so sad. I forgot to outline the hat. Good job. Professor Andy. Oh. 
Check it out! Hey, what up? Hey, what up? <sighs> I'm not saving that one, though. Sorry. Horse he is in the back? Yep, he does. He totally has to have the horse he is in the back. Tepig! Alright, how am I gonna draw Tepig? Let's see. Tepig! Hello, this may listen. We're gonna draw a portrait of Tepig. Tepig's a great first partner for part traders. A partner Pokemon for traders, but it's never encountered in the wild. They're fire type Pokemon. I'd like to roast their berries before eating them. Although, they're sometimes get overexcited and burn them. Let's start by outlining Tepig's face with the outline pen. Yeah, 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 I got this. Just draw a slice of bacon. Tepig has a distinctive snout. Any other Pokemon nose would just look wrong. Remember, he's use that there. Here you go, yeah. Or just a slice of bacon? Nah, you gotta do better than that. You gotta do better. Hold on, hold on. Let's outline this. Maybe like this. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh my gosh, hold on. Yeah, oh, I got this. The bacon Pokemon from the word starter? I like him, Emboar. Emboar. I can't remember his name. Okay. Uh, what, what did he, hold on. I keep doing that, Emboar, yeah. Uh. Oops. Hold on, hold on, I got this, I got this, I got this. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on, I got this. And then I gotta, hold on, I gotta, I'm getting, as you can see, I have the DS right here. Don't you dare. What? What am I doing? I'm not a wooing. I don't like a woos. Hold on, I got this. Yes, I am going to be uh, streaming Sword and Shield in November. I will. Actually, this is the outline pen. What am I doing? Oh, I got this. I got this. I got this. There we go. Give him a little, a little smack. smack. So, next inside the base color is the bottom part is orange, while the top part is brown. Cool. Listen. Oh, you didn't give me green? You didn't give me green? I'm so sad. Just add the base color. It's fine. Anyway, so far, how's uh, how's everything looking stream-wise? Are, are, are we good? Are we bad? What's your guys? What's the uh, consensus? 
But you can f I did not do anything! You cannot prove anything that I have just done. Hey, Oda Jigsaw, welcome to the stream. Oops, hold on. Oops. Yeah, how's it look to you guys? Are we talking good, bad? Listen, I wanted green. They gave me yellow, so I mean, yellow's fine. I can work with yellow. We're good. So we're good on my own, running smooth? Sweet. Don't know, just got here. No worries, no worries. I'm glad it's running smooth though. That's really good. Finally, it's color tipping's details. There's the yellow snout, the yellow, uh, the snout, the yellow forehead, and the eyes, including the white highlights. Oh! I forgot the forehead. I got this, so don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. That, that. Okay, hold on, hold on. I need to bring, go back to orange. I need to go back to orange. Just do some highlights there. Just clean that up. All right, good. Nice, nice. Oh, wait! Actually, I pressed to the side. Okay. Now the nose is key. Dang, I got I got some orange in the wrong spots, man. Some white in the wrong spots. Okay. Oh, wait, I forgot to finish the eyes. Hold on. That works. Well done, you've drawn another Pokemon friend. Hey, check out my tech thing! Hey, I, I put on a few pounds, man! I put on a few pounds! Have to go now, forget. Oh, no worries, Ned. Thank you for coming to the stream. Take it easy. Take it easy. Hey, look at me! I'm gonna show you some cheap car foil fuel! I'm a bit jealous. You're, you're just my talent. Well, you catch the essence. It's hard to make stick your drawing for any other Pokemon. The front of his face looks kind of like a flame. The appearance of a Pokemon often gives clues about its type. That's always the case, it's part of the mystery of Pokemon. See you in the next lesson! Cool. Jeez, we are almost it. We are almost an hour into the stream. It's crazy. I'm not gonna be streaming this too long because this is purely just testing. I didn't mean to save this! Fine. Draw Sobble instead? Maybe. Alright. I think we're gonna just end it with chest spin. Cause yeah. Cause this is only just a test that this is working. I'm not looking to do like a full playthrough of this game. Um, I mean we might, who knows. Welcome right, to this main lesson, we're going to draw a portrait of chest spin. Chest spin is a grass type Pokemon with a type dip green shell on its head. The shells cover soft leaf like quills that become hard with chest flexes. Chest spin has a carefree, curious attitude. Which can sometimes get into trouble. As with all spot, we'll use the trace outline pad to trace chest spin sword. Well, that's a lot of quills to draw! No worry, it's easy if you break it down. There are seven quills, four in the front, the hat, and three sticking up the back. I'm gonna zoom in, yada yada yada. Will you do more of this, or no? I mean, if people want more of this, sure. I'm not the best with art, uh, but... I can get- I can- I can probably just do more of this, like, later. We'll see. We could- I can make these, like, the Let's Talk streams. Just right now, I just wanted to like give myself an hour just to test this out and see how it worked. Of course. Make him shiny? Okay, I got you. I got you. I can do that. Okay. 
Yeah, and I know I will be getting back to Wargroove. So far, so good. That's fine. Uh, no, I don't, I don't like that. Hold on, I got this. Nice chill out stream. Do I know what shiny chestpin? I do not. What does the shiny chestpin look like? Yeah, this is this is definitely uh. This is definitely a nice chill stream. I can I can fully say that, and I'm liking the fact that like this is a really good test for, for the the 3ds streams. Oops, hold on. I may need to zoom in. Not there. Okay. Oh, I got this. So the colors. The green is brown. Okay. Don't worry, I'll make it up with the colors they give me. Oh, I got this. Can I just say, I, you want to know the funny thing? On my screen, this is insanely blurry. On your guys' screen, it is clear. I love that. This is great. Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we're good. Okay. Okay, okay, good. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, next up. Let's do, let's do, Okay. Got it. Good. I feel bad because I'm like looking down. Like I'm, I'm trying to do this like at a good like pace, but it's not too much I could really do. What else do I need? The nose, not the eyes. Okay, I'm out. Oh, I think that worked out good. I think that worked well. Hold on, how, how's it look? How's it look? How's it look? Not oh, pretty good. Pretty good, actually. Not another job. Since that outline is done, we'll start filling in the base colors. Coloring the shell and quills with green and the whole face with light brown. Gotcha. Okay, what colors do you give me? I think I should make, hold on. Mm. I need to do a smaller color for this. Okay, got that one, got that one. Now let's move over to this one. I hope somebody's screen capturing these, by the way, and just putting them on, like, somewhere. Twitter's gonna be like, OH MY GOSH, WHAT DID HE DO TO Chestnut? Squirtle looks like... a person. Why is Tepig uh, have... a frog foot? I honestly, like, I, I'm a little jealous of people who know how to draw, like... I was I keep getting asked sometimes or sometimes been asked like hey is like hey Kit how did you make your like logo like did you have somebody make it for you or did you like did you make it yourself and I made it myself but that took like two hours in Illustrator yes that K took two hours in Illustrator to make 
because I'm just that graphically adept. Like, I am more of a script writer, I'm more of a, just a writer in general than an artist. So who knows, maybe this will give me some, uh, some help on how to draw. I don't know, I've always been like, my best friend knows how to draw like really well. Like she's super, super good. They're super good, rather. But I can, I can write really well, speak well. I don't know why also this is just so fun. Like, I don't know, this, it seems like kind of strange to like, oops, what was that? Ooh, lagging a little bit. There you go. Got this. But this is surprisingly fun to do. Like, very fun. I'm not lying here. Drawing. Coloring. I love coloring. Coloring is just so nice. So soothing, you know? There we go. Alright, so that's Chespin's head. Looks pretty good. Okay. Next is this. Make it white. Okay. I would be I would be scared if there's a chestpin that looked like this that like just showed up. Hey, look at this! Oh my gosh! What is this? What is this horror? I'm so scared! Start freaking out. Like, I'd be terrified if this showed up. Because I'd be like, this isn't shiny, nor is it a chestpin. Okay, looks good. How's it, how's it look? Oops. Oop, hold on, oh, I got this. Looking good? I think it's looking good. Oh, the software stopped. Hold on. You okay, software? Everything fine? Apparently, it does not like the zoom-in feature. Hold on. You good? Yeah, a little bit jaggedy. Hey, what up, Chloe? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? I was finished by coloring the details. Your dark brown to color the triangular markings and the orange red. Who knows? I just blurred some red highlights. Okay. I'm gonna start with the green eyes. Oops, hold on. Hold on, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, green eyes. It's the first one. It's all good. It's all good. Have I been pretty good just testing out the, the 2DS stuff? I'm a little, like, the only thing I'm, like, really griping about is the fact that, like, it does lag every now and again because it's software-based and not, like, the actual capture card. And, like, even with the, the RAM modifications, like... I believe it just froze. There we go. I was like, hold on, I believe it just froze for a moment. 
Like, that's- that's why. It's like, sometimes it's gonna freeze and, like, stop in place. Like, right now it's in looking good. Oh, now it froze again. Even though on my DS it's looking fine. Hmm. Yeah, the downside is the software. Oh, it looks like it's working again now. Yeah, it's just like some weird, like, frame dips. I wonder why. Like, it just randomly decided, hey, I'm not gonna work. Also, hold on, I gotta... I gotta finish this chest bin. Have I been doing? I've been doing pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Just been working, streaming, getting this to work. Like, so far, like, this is looking good. Like, you guys can probably see, like, right here. Like, everything moves here. If I go over here. Like, everything moves, like, really fast and fluid compared to, like, the bigger screen. But it's still good. It's still good, all things considered. So, but yeah, I've been pretty much just focusing on getting this all hooked up and everything. Uh, I'll do brown for the nose. I've been good. There's good games coming out. I've been playing a lot of games. Gonna be starting a new... Uh, there's a game I've been waiting literal, like, ages for to come out. Finally came out, and I was like, I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, for tonight. So, I'm gonna probably stream that, and then this week we'll just be kind of streaming a lot of games, as usual. What have you been, Zach? Been, been a minute. Let's see. Just babysitting my little cousin. Nice, nice. I'm not babysat like like I used to babysit my brothers a lot when they were younger. Now everyone's older. I'm not needed to babysit. It's weird. It's so strange. Why does this look awesome? This looks awesome. What did I just create? I feel like I made the Ben 10 version of Chespin. I feel like I made the Ben 10 version of Chespin. <clears throat> does anyone see what I mean? Like the, uh, the X like in the middle? Like, I don't know why. I'm getting like Ben 10 vibes from this. Oh, we're good. <coughs> I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> It looks so happy! It looks so happy! Doing good? Been applying for jobs? Nice, nice. Oh, nice! Good job, Zach. It was on a Yellow Kazoo's podcast, which was fun. Nice. Mr. Mime? True, <laughs> true. It's not easy, but it's a very good practice for the new listeners. Remember, you can always replay the lesson if you want to We'll see you next time. Cool. That was that. Jeez, we are, like, set. I am- I'm actually gonna keep this one. This one looks really cool. I feel really glad about how I, how I made that one. Alright. Cool. Well, that, I think that's gonna be it, though. I know this is like a smaller stream starting off. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing another stream later. Yeah, I may, I may take a break. There's like so many courses. There's so much to do. Fennekin. Got Torchic, Meowth, and Mincino. Hmm. What time is it right now? Oh, and I got I still have so much stuff to move to. Screw it. 
We'll, we'll do Fennekin, Torchic, Meowth, and Michino, and then we'll call it. We'll do all four of them. So let's start with Fennekin. Why don't we draw heads from Angle and the Thickness? Okay. Alright! Fennekin! Nice work on completing the full face portrait lesson. Let's start the next part of the course. We're going to draw a portrait of Fennekin. Ooh, I really like Fennekin. It's a fire type Pokemon, right? Correct. It has a fiery temper to match its type. Fennekin enjoys snacking on twigs. Ooh, I bet this definitely the your cookies, Professor. Moving on. Now, this portrait of Fennekin is a bit different from the other portraits we've drawn. So far, I've only drawn pictures of Pokemon looking straight ahead, which means their faces were symmetrical. That is, both halves were the same. But when a Pokemon's head rotates, the facial features become distorted. That makes drawing portraits from an angle is a little bit harder. Let's try it and see how we do. Let's start by drawing out an outline. I start with the second largest outline pen to draw Fennekin's head and large ears. Okay. Gotcha. So like the first, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So, all right. Second largest, okay, cool. Let's, here, yeah, just take this closer to me. Just be like, okay. I'm gonna draw this one perfect, just cause I actually really like Fennekin. I think Delphox would be fat, would be proud. Delphox, if you're watching this after the stream, uh, don't worry, I thought of you. Okay. I need to, like, also... Like, right here. Look at that! On stream tonight, there are a few other streams I'll pop to. Ah, that's good. I think you appreciate it, though. It's always good to, like, I try to pop into many streams as I can. It's just been busy, busy, busy. Especially with my new job and everything. Look at that! That is beautiful! Did actually really well. I'm impressed with myself. Let me just do a new technique to the step. But drawing an outline, draw, but outline drawing using different thickness of lines can be very useful. The most important shapes are drawn with a thick line. The details can be drawn with a thinner outline. You can see the difference clearly by comparing these two Pokeballs. Thinner details now starting with the tufts of Fennekin's ears. Okay. So what are you doing? Hmm. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm getting a better idea of what he's doing. Interesting, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in. Start here. There we go. Got it! Look at that! Look at that! Here, an ice cream truck? Oh, ice cream sounds delicious. Okay. Got it. I haven't had ice cream in so long. There we go. Okay, anything else I gotta do? No? Okay, good. Next step, next step. Can't get it. Oh, I can't get the, the Art Academy? Pokemon Art Academy? I'm sorry. Next, draw the rest of the face. Are you using a two still or are you using a one? I feel like you're using a one. That's what I said. Don't forget to use your zoom feature and yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you actually using, you're using a two. Interesting.
Got it, okay. So far, we're doing okay. Doing okay. Oop, hold on. How did one line take me that long? Okay, is everything good? I think we're actually, wow, that looks really good. That looks really good. That line is done, so I'm gonna turn on the, the outline overlay. We're gonna start coloring Fennekin's head now. The Fennekin's face is placed in the two different colors. Top half is yellow and the bottom half is white, so the border is at Fennekin's eye level. Okay, start by covering the yellow half. Because, yeah, the tufts of ears, the tufts of ears are red. So the top parts, okay. And then, oh, he has it cut off. Look at how smooth it is! So smooth, so smooth. That was beautiful. Beautiful job, Professor. Is this the only professor who's like an art academy expert? Like, feel like that's a thing. He probably is the only one. Okay, he cuts off her dumb one. Look at that! I did it! Made a straight line, everybody. Please hold the applause. Please hold the applause. It's just weird to like. Just like, eh, let's just draw like this. Um. Like right here? Is that where he wanted me to go? I, I don't know. This guy, this guy's not teaching me much right now. He's not teaching me the ways of why. Why are Fennekins the color yellow? Can somebody tell me this? What in their history caused them to become yellow? Why didn't they turn green? Oops. Ah! On. Okay. Got it. Not bad, not bad! After all, white's fine to fill in the eyes with this as well. Okay. Yeah, because we're just gonna color over the eyes. Okay. Okay, I see you, I see you. Not that hard. I'm gonna zoom in though. Just for safety's sake. Okay. Oh, we're not coloring it coloring in the nose? That's weird. Why are why are we not coloring the nose? Like I feel like coloring in the nose would make sense. All right, looks good, looks good. Now we're gonna use red. Turn to the dark orange marker for the fur in the ears for, for the irises as well. Okay. Oh, so now you're just going back in and coloring over it. Okay, okay, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down, Mr. Professor. I'm understanding your ways. I understand why you're doing the things you're doing. I 
we go. I wonder if that just coloring things would make it look like... Man, is this what it feels like to be an artist? Like, I didn't think designs would just make it look like this immediately. But that coloring... Coloring is an important part of a balanced breakfast. Also, I think we have to stop at Fennekin because I just realized that the uh, DS is about to die and I was not prepared to... So was, well... Yeah, it is about to die. So we may, may have to stop after Fennekin. Because I don't know where my charger is and... Finding one is going to be a pain right now. Don't worry. So far, looking good. This is a short step. Pick the dark gray color and fill in Fennekin's nose. Yeah, I got you. I got you, Doc. Done. Easy. Easy. My marker and add a highlight to dry. I do. Once again, these highlights are strange. What the heck? Hold on. I need to make sure that there's, it's all. Hold on. Am I missing anything up here? Gosh. What, what, what does my drawing become? There's just little holes of green. Oh my gosh. I. I failed as an artist. I could not let that stand. Oh my gosh, over here too. I can't let the master find out. If the master finds out, I'll be punished. Exquisitely. No one saw anything. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, oh, nope, 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 nope. There we go, there we go. Let's add the white, add the white, add the white. Give me a second, I'm just clearing it up. Look at that! Look how close that looks! Look how... I'm an artist! I did it! I drew something! Like, actually drew something! That looks so good. Is those a little off? I'm so proud of myself for dropping Fennekin! That was fun! Masterpiece! Look at this masterpiece! Oh! What's happening to that Finnegan? Man, my ears are just, <laughs> just like. <laughs> Man, my ears a little hurt a little bit. It's just ah, fire! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! That looks terrifying. That looks like a poor Finnegan. Apparently, enjoyed for the further years. I think it did pretty well. There's nothing wrong with adding your own twist to drawings. Make sure you're getting the basics straight. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm not sure I got the hung of the head right angle. Yes! The head angle. That's what you did. It's much easier to draw a head straight on. You're both doing very well after a short time at the academy. In fact, if you're happy with your work, why not post it to me first? But it's dead! <laughs> it's dead! Ah! Rest in peace. Meepers. Dude, I'm so proud of this. I've, I'm so proud of this. I, oh my gosh, I am so proud of this. I 
I'm so proud. Like, I know it might be seem a little dumb, but like, I've I've never been able to draw. Like, I failed some art classes because of how bad my drawing was. Even like doing the outlines, like I was just bad. Like I have I have like really shaky hands, so like the fact of how well that just that this came out. Like I, I wish I didn't have like shaky hands and such. Like, but this, this turned out so well. I'm saving that. I'm saving that. That just, look, look how clean it looks. A little pixelated on your guys' end, but... Looks so clean. Togepi, Meowth, Torchic, and Minchino. Alright. Oh, Gengar, Pachirisu, Pichu. Nice. Alright. I think that's gonna be it. Kind of because the... 2DS is about to die. Um, so real quick, for those who are still here in the stream, what the heck? I'm like, what the heck am I doing? There we go. Uh, what you guys think of how everything's laid out with how everything looks? FPS. Appreciate you guys' feedback, real quick, about that. Because as you can tell, like this top screen definitely is like a lot crisper than say the bottom screen. Um, and it seems like it's like going a little bit slow around here. Not bad, not bad, okay. Yeah, because definitely, like, just do it once again, side by side comparison. Like, here's the screen, the bottom screen. And you can tell, like, it's. Yeah, they're actually. Like, you can tell, like, the other side is a little bit, like, more, like, lag filled. But, like, other than that, it's pretty good. And then you got, like, Pokemon Art Academy. Yeah, you can tell, like, maybe the bottom's a little. Maybe just my eyes, though, because, like, that, that I can tell it's like a little jaggedy, but if it's if it's not bad for you guys like would you guys be down? Like this is the ultimate question for why it's a test stream and why I was want to make sure of this because I mean I'm fine with just a 2ds XL by myself. I can use it for training. It's perfect, but um Would you guys want to see like Pokemon and Fire Emblem just based on like how you saw like FPS and everything and, and how everything looked here Would you like me to do like Pokemon and Fire Emblem? On DS might be a little choppy like I'm saying like just that might be just something that I'm noticing I'll try to like minimize that as much as possible but would you guys like to see that if I can get it to work and that's kind of like my big question because like no see like like right here is like it, the FPS dropped but once again that's also because let's see if I'm, if I'm gonna work okay because the big key thing is, all of this right now, it has to connect to my internet. That's the biggest thing. Is, for it to run smoothly, I need it to connect to my internet to get taken care of. I've heard that with the software I'm using, that I could actually... I can make this like a little network hub. Where's this guy's? I have actually like instructions here too, so... read something interesting i have a shot but yeah i'll definitely give it a try see if we can get this working and doing some more like pokemon stuff and i mean seems like you guys like the art academy if if i can get things working a little bit better um apparently i can make this like make it a mini network because right now the only problem right now is that oh man the 3ds is about to die or 2ds is just the distance between here and the the router if I could shorten that distance, that'd be great, and that would help with the FPS. Like, that's the, really the only reason why the FPS is dropping. 
is because of the connection. But if I can make, there's there's another guide in the little instruction book. I'll give it a try. But anyway, there's another game that's been played tonight. We're playing Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. I've been waiting so long for me to, to, to play it. It came out two days ago. We we're gonna play through it. I'm not gonna be using any of the secret codes there starting off, but we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun. So hope to see you guys then. It's probably gonna be around five or six Pacific Standard Time. So be on the lookout. Anyway, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the DS test stream. Uh, have a wonderful day, night, morning, afternoon, and or evening. My name is Katathi. I'll see you guys next time for more Friday Gaming. See you guys later. Peace.